Good day, good day. So today, we're on the Triumph Storm. Uh, it's due for its MOT next month, beginning of next month. But it's booked in Friday. I thought I'd get it in early, see if it passes. The only thing I can see it failing on is the front indicators, as I've done them uh, close to the headlights, just underneath the headlights. So it might do a man to say, it's blanking them out with the headlights on and whatever, so we'll soon see when I take it for an MOT. I don't really want the indicators sticking out. Yeah, I know it's people to see. It's dangerous enough as it is with fucking idiots on the road don't look out for bikes, but it's about looks as well, man. It's about looks as well. It's got to look nice. But anyway, that's the only thing I can see it failing and the front brake pads. Uh, last time I was out on the bike, every time I pressed the front brake, I started to get some noise from the front brakes. So, I'm going out and brought some new brake pipes, they're brake pipes, brake pads. So, switch around, give you a look. So this is what I've gone out and brought. Some new brake pads. When I brought the brake pads, I got the Dot 4 with it as well. So yeah, I got all that. And copper grease. All come. One package, I weren't expecting that. I only thought I got the pads to come with the oil and the grease. I think it was 50 quid. Look at that, 50, 60 quid. So that's not bad at all. So, yeah, run the Triumph. You can see from the indicators there, one there, one there. So, you can see them when they go in, but it's all down to the MIT tester, I guess. Uh, yeah, so let's get these brake pads changed out, shall we? So first things first is I took the cap off. I've emptied that out. All I've used is a syringe and paper towel just to soak it all up. Uh, you don't have to empty this. It's just I don't know when the, it was last changed in that. So I am going to be stripping most of it right down fresh fluid and giving it all a good clean so next thing will be to take the calipers off so what we want to do is before we take the caliper off because I'm taking the old lot unit off putting fresh fluid in I'm going to break the bleeding nipple yeah, size 8 mil. move it to the right spanner that way So it's size 8 mil, just break it open a bit. And all I got is a bleed pipe and a stick on the end there. And just open it up. I just keep pressing my front brake. Try and get most of the fluid out of the pipe. Keep an eye on it as you don't want it all over your wheel. The pipe does come off. Yeah, I think it's got most of it out. So I'll just crack that back open. Yep. That's brake oil from out my system. So I'll just tighten that bleed nipple back up. Then I want to undo this bolt right here. So this bolt here is a 14 mil. that loose get some cloth something just to stick
Yeah, so I'll get these unbolted. What you want to do is unbolt it, then your caliper will slide off. Caliper off. So I'll take you back up to the bench. Bench got your caliper off. You see a little pin there. You want to pull that off, stick it aside, make sure you don't lose it. Then you want a 5mm Allen key. And guess what? All mine are in the plastic car. Because I've been working on cars. So all mine are in the car. So I just got a little one. And I'll ratchet it here. Stick it in. So this will do it. Yeah, so all my tools are in the car. And the wife's at work in the car. So. That's great. You know the funny bit about it? She did say to me, do you need any tools from out the car? No babe, it should be alright. And the only tool I don't need is a bastard Allen key. And that is in the car. Well, all my Allen keys are in the kill. Anyway, size 5 mil. Won't do it. Once you've undone it, you see your threads there, then your bar will just pull out. Pull your bar out, and your brake pads are not going to drop out of the bottom. So there we go. It's great, and I would say my pads are worn. That's the old, and there's the new. So the next thing to do is you want to push your pistons back so you just get some tissue or something just stick over the old ear and just gently prise your pistons back. You should just squeeze in. There we go. You want to push them right in. There we go, that's my pistons all pushed in. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it all a good clean up. So I've got some brake cleaner. I'll give it a nice coat in that. I'll just give it a good clean. So once you gave it all a good clean, cleaned all around the pistons and everything, the brake cleaner. Clean the bar up, play it. All gave it a good clean up. Alright, so it's time to start building it back up. So, a lot of people say don't use it, a lot of say do, copper grease. Me, I use it and I don't use it. But today I'm going to use it, all I'm going to put is a bit on the back and a little dollop. I'm just going to smudge it around the back. I know people say don't, you don't need to anymore. I agree. But when it comes to my brake pads on my bike, I like to use a bit as these do get all the weather. These do get battered by all your salts and everything on the road. 
But like I say, all I do is use a little smudge just to wipe over the back of my plates there. Then all I'm going to do is put them in. So you want to go from the bottom and fill this that way in. There's one. And you want to go that way in. And there's two. So you want to tip top like that. So once they're in like that, get your plate and the bit what dips down goes to the top and they sit like that so it sits like that you get your bar, thread your bar through like that that's your brake pad, that brake pad's in and all I use is a pit, a bit of copper grease on the thread, and a little bit, just so I know it ain't gonna seize in next time. I want to take it off. I'm gonna just screw it in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Grab your pin, try not losing it. Then your pin goes back in there. Like that. There we go. New brake pads in. So let's get back to the bike, fit it back to the bike. So back to the bike. So what you want to do, separate your brake pads. Make sure they're separated so you got a gap in like that. You want to just slide it back onto your disc. Bring it back up. Then bolt it back in. Make sure you clean all your bolts and that. Come on. So, 
I'll bring the bike level. So once you've topped it up, you want to get your bleeding pipe. Yeah, you want to get your bleeding pipe ready. Yeah, first things first, so is <clears throat> instead of trying to bleed it straight through the nipple, as I've got air all the way through my system, as I've drained it all out to put all fresh oil in, I could have just kept just bleeding fresh oil gone through. I want to take it off to put my calipers on bench, clean them and everything. So yeah. So all I'm going to do is then break this bolt off here again. Then I'm going to just bleed this pipe first. So I'll just show you how to do that. So you want to undo this bolt here. that off make sure you wash your at the bottom don't fall mine stayed on put it in a bottle or a jug like that and just slightly tap your front brake clipper you only need to squeeze it a little bit and all you're looking for is the brake fluid start flowing out So you want, and you know the air that from the pipe from your master cylinder down to that section. You only need to squeeze it a little bit. You just want to get the siphon it, action going. So gravity will pull your fluid down. You just keep going till it starts doing it. So once you keep pressing the fluid, every time you press it, fluid comes out. You know the pipe from here up oh, is got most of the air out. So now we can fasten this pipe back on and bleed it the normal way. If you do just want to bleed it just straight out of the bleed nipple, it does take forever. As there's only a little bit of fluid coming down at a time, and trying to push that air out and that. <coughs> It's a pain in the ass. So this is the easiest way I find of doing it. Is just get it so it's down to this section here. Your flu is down to here. Put it on, then bleed it. So let's get this bolted back on. So that's all fastened back up. So I'll do the other side. Do exactly the same on the other side now. Uh, just so I can get the fluid down my pipe down to the bolt there down to my caliper do the other side then I'll just bleed as normal time to bleed it now so put the bleeding pipe on uh, so all you're going to be doing is a couple of pumps release tighten couple of pumps release tighten couple of pumps and just keep doing that till we start getting breaks here we go three a couple of pumps release tighten And just keep doing that till we get brakes. This is the dreaded bit about doing brakes is the bleeding. So, I've bled some from the bottom. I'm just getting fluid out now, both sides. So, all I'm doing is to top. So, I'm doing this few squeezes, let go, and just letting the air come out. So what I keep doing, keep squeezing, letting go, letting the air come out, 
Okay, go in until I've got a solid break. Just make sure you keep topping up your fluid. Getting all the air out of the system. And my break is coming. So when it comes to these front brakes you can do it without disconnecting your pipe and all that. All you do before you unbolt here and here, pull your pin out the back here, put your 5 mil allen key in here, unbolt this bar, so that's all unbolted so it's loose, then unbolt here. One bolt here, 14 mils. Pull your caliper off. <clears throat> pull out your, well, pull out the bar, pull out your pads, push your pistons back. Don't forget to take your top cap off. Push your pistons back, put your new pads in, put your bar back in. Don't forget to put your clip on, put your caliper back on, tighten these bolts up, squeeze your brakes, make sure they're nice and solid. Put your cap back on. So yeah, it's simple. The only reason I took all this off because I want to get all the old fluid out. I want to make sure I wanted to make sure all the old fluid was out and it was all fresh in. Yeah, I could have bled it all the old fluid out and put new in, but then you don't know if you're getting it all out. So I just did it that way. So I hope this has helped somebody out. I know how to change front brake pads on a storm. I think the LDs and all that will be exactly the same. So I'll leave it there for today and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.